Hello all, welcome to Lead Code Daily Challenge. Today's problem is best time to buy and sell stock. Fifth. So in this problem, we are given integer error prices where price I denote the price of the I S stock in dollars on the I Th day. Here we are allowed at most k transaction. That is buy sell. This constitute one complete transaction. So this is one and another one short selling. That is we sell on day I and then we buy back on later day. In that case, our profit is price of I minus price of J, which is similar. When we are buying it, it will be minus, and when we are selling it, it will be plus. We can complete each transaction before starting the another, right? We return maximum total profit by making at most k transactions. And if we see the constraint, the constraints are pretty much low over here. So what I'll do is, basically, I will maintain three states along with uh, my. I will create a DP array. It will be like the number of indexes that I have, the number of uh, basically transactions that I can make. It is it is given that it will be always prices dot length by half. A number of states that is what the current state of the transaction so if let's say if it is zero that means i need to sell in order to end my transaction that is i have bought somewhere now i need to sell it other one is one that i have bought it earlier sorry i have sell it earlier now i have to buy it and two is that my transaction complete i am starting a new transaction so i can either buy or sell based on two parameters that we have so these are the base conditions that is when i is less than zero when i or k is Either k is zero or i is less than zero. We have to make sure that a transaction is complete. If it is not complete, we'll return very large negative number so that it. Uh, since we have to need to calculate the maximum, so this will get reduced. We'll simply do check that if states has already been occurred, then simply return that same. Otherwise, otherwise if state is zero, which means that I need to sell it in order to end the transaction. So what I'll do is, in that case, I will do i minus one. I will go to another index. I will come subtract one from my transaction because i have completed my transaction i will update the status to 2 2 means that i have to i can start the new transaction and minus i will subtract this since i am selling it if st is 1 that i have to buy it in that case i will be adding it uh it will be i minus k and transaction it will also get completed i will pass at state as 2 now in 2 we have two options either we buy it on that day or sell it on that day. so based on that we are adding plus 1 or uh plus pi or subtracting pi S similarly we are updating the state so that it get memoist and simply returning the answer and in our main function what we are doing is uh, initializing with minus 1 and then simply calling the recursive code so yeah, that was for this question if you like the video hit the like button and do subscribe for more daily content thank you